load factor, diversity factor and plant factor. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the various terms and factors of economic power generation. With the vast development of technologies and industries, the usage of electrical power in all sectors of Burke City increases day by day. In order to meet the increasing demand of the Burke City, Mr. Sam, the power engineer of the Burke City, is planning to extend the existing power plant by erecting a new unit as the load demands have exceeded the reserve capacity of the existing plant. In order to do that, it is necessary to consider the important terms and factors related to economic power generation to meet the existing and future power demand. Let us discuss about these factors in detail. Let us first begin with connected load. A power plant supplies load to thousands of consumers. Each consumer has certain equipment installed in his premises. The sum of all the electrical equipment in the consumer's premises that are connected to supply and are in operating state is collectively called connected load of the consumer. For example, if a residential consumer uses 10 watts fluorescent lamp, 250 watts flat screen TV, 600 watts refrigerator, and 1200 watts air conditioner. Then, the connected load of the consumer is equal to 10 plus 250 plus 600 plus 1200, which is equal to 2060 watts. Likewise, the sum of all continuous ratings of all the electrical equipments connected to the supply system is termed as connected load. Maximum demand. The load on the power station varies from time to time. The maximum of all the demands that have occurred during a period is called the maximum demand. This can be calculated on a daily, weekly, seasonal or annual basis. For example, the load curve for typical load data of the power system is as shown. From the load curve, we can observe that the maximum demand on the power station is 6 megawatts. The maximum demand of the power station is always less than the connected load because all the consumers do not switch on all the electrical appliances at the same time. The knowledge of maximum demand helps us to determine the size and the cost of installation of the power station. Demand factor. It is the ratio of maximum demand on the system to the load connected to the system. It is always less than unity because maximum demand on the power station is generally less than the connected load. For example, the maximum demand on the power station is 6 megawatts and the connected load on the power station is 10 megawatts. Then, the demand factor is equal to 6 by 10, which is equal to 0 0.6. The demand factor plays a vital role in determining the capacity of the plant equipment. Average load or average demand. It is defined as the ratio of kilowatt hour delivered by the station over a particular period divided by the hours in that period, which will give daily, monthly or yearly average demand. Load factor. It is defined as the ratio of the average load demand over a given period of time to the maximum demand occurring in that period. In other words, the load factor is the ratio of energy consumed in a given period of time in hours to the peak load which has occurred during that particular period. Whenever a power plant is constricted, it is designed to serve 
the maximum demand of the consumers. If the consumers maintain the maximum demand throughout the day, then the fullest capability of power plant will be utilized and it will reduce the cost of electricity bill. But practically, this is not the case. The load factor will be never one as the peak demand is not equal to installed capacity of the power plant in the actual case. Thus, the load factor plays a key role in determining the overall cost per unit generated. Higher load factor on the power station means lesser maximum demand. So, for a lower value of maximum demand, the capacity of the plant will become lower, which in turn reduces the cost of the plant. Diversity factor A power station supplies power to various types of consumers whose maximum demands generally do not occur at the same time. Hence, there is a difference between the individual maximum demand on the station and the sum of consumers' maximum demand. This is called diversity in individual consumers' demand. So, the ratio of the sum of individual maximum demands to the maximum demand on the power station is known as diversity factor. The diversity factor is always greater than 1 because Maximum demand on the power station is always less than the sum of individual maximum demands of the consumers. Greater the diversity factor, lesser is the maximum demand. This in turn reduces the plant capacity required and the capital investment of the plant. Plant capacity factor All the power stations are so designed that they have some reserve capacity for meeting the future increase in load demand. The installed capacity of the plant is always greater than the maximum demand of the power plant. So, the reserve capacity of the power plant is equal to the plant capacity minus maximum demand. Here, the plant capacity is defined by the ratio of actual energy produced to the maximum possible energy that could have been produced over that particular period. In other words, the plant capacity factor is the ratio of average demand of the station to the maximum installed capacity of the station. Plant use factor It is the ratio of kilowatt hour generated to the product of plant capacity and the number of hours for which the plant was operated. That is, Plant use factor is equal to station output in kilowatt hour by plant capacity into hours of use. Based on the above terms and factors, Mr. Sam can easily decide the type and rating of generating plant in order to meet the demand of the Berg city with economic power generation. Summary This brings us to the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you have learned that Electrical energy consumers require energy for different purposes and their requirement will be at different times. The qualities and characteristics that are required for the economic operation of power plants and the energy supply system.